Hey there Clashers, it is your host Galadon, you are watching Clash of Clans Attacks, thank you for stopping by. In today's episode we are going to talk a little bit about defensive structures, specifically recognizing their state and their setting out on the battlefield so that you can have every possible advantage when you are attacking. Yes, know your defender and their buildings, and specifically we're going to start out with Expos. And I don't know about you guys, but this took me a while to catch on to this when I first started playing Clash of Clans. The bow on the right is not loaded, you notice the little string is not there. The elixir on the top is also missing. The bow on the left of course is loaded and ready to go, lethal as ever. That is a big difference, a key difference that you want to recognize out on the battlefield. And also of course, whether they're set to air or ground, it is kind of a subtle difference but if you look here the one on the left is set to air and ground the one on the right is set to ground and it just takes a little training to recognize it air ground air ground air ground there you go so just have to kind of study it click your own once you get expo so you can kind of see the difference and you'll know that when they're set to air and ground like this one is in the front here they will be popping balloons like an eight-year-old at a birthday party after three slices of cake and that goes for your dragons minions and healers as well but if they're set to ground like those two on the left you've got nothing to worry about now this next fact is something that most of you probably are familiar with, but I get this question surprisingly often, and that is the difference between single and multi-targeting Inferno Towers. Now the way I usually describe it is the single target Inferno Tower looks kind of like the Eye of Sauron, and you can see the difference here between an unloaded and a loaded one. And now there is the multi-targeting setting, it looks more like a honeycomb. And again, unlit versus lit, completely harmless versus watch out. But again, it has everything to do with the units you've brought to battle. Even a maximum level Inferno Tower set on multi will take over a minute to burn through a level 1 P.E.K.K.A. But that same Inferno Tower will annihilate a maximum level wizard in about 4 seconds, a witch in 2.5, and, and with its 5 streams going at once it can go through 5 skeletons every second. But while your big units might just shake off a multi-targeting Inferno, those golems, P.E.K.K.A. and heroes live in constant fear of the single-targeting Inferno. In fact, this king here is going to have nightmares for days after getting fried by this Inferno Tower. Another important observation out on the battlefield is those builders madly hammering away at defenses, especially at lower level town halls when you have a very limited number of defenses. When you've got a builder working on one or two, it can definitely turn the tide in your favor. But don't get overconfident, a builder working on a clan castle does not necessarily mean that it is empty, and neither does a clan castle that doesn't belong to a clan. Players have even been known to do that on purpose just to make you think that you're attacking an abandoned village. The same with gravestones, while they can be an indicator of an abandoned village, also people have been known to leave them there just to make you think that they are not ready for your attack. And another quick tip to avoid getting trolled, watch out for setups like this. This is almost a certain indicator of disaster. Hidden Tesla's waiting to zap your units as soon as you try to snipe off that town hall. And one more important piece of advice, don't fall for the gap, you're probably getting trolled. These little red spaces right here, they look alluring, they're right next to that town hall, but your units are going to be very difficult to control once you drop them in there. In fact, you'll have no control over where they go. Likely there's all sorts of traps and bombs in the area and lots of defenses focused on that one spot. They want you to come in there and they're going to take your trophies, waste your armies, and you're not going to get anything in return. So there you have it you guys, just a few simple tips to help hone your attacking skills. Uh, please let me know if you've got other tips like this that you'd like to share in the comments below. If I use them in a future episode, I will definitely give you credit and shout you out. Thanks again for watching you guys, please do check out my other videos and subscribe for daily high level Clash of Clans content and I will see you guys again tomorrow with of course more full attacks. Another wasted episode, Galidon. You didn't even mention the gym box.